Well, the temperature is perfect. It's not raining. And we are gonna put Grace back to work and have a busy day here on the farm. Join us. So I love all this hair on Grace, but on work days like this, I need to get it out of the way. So kind of the downside of a hairy horse, but we'll just kind of throw it up in a few quick braids and that way it won't get all tangled up in the harness as we're working. Okay, we've got her ready to harness. Uh, you'll notice I didn't braid the back section, and that's because when she's actually wearing her collar, a braid can cause sores and rubs, so I never braid anything that's gonna be under a harness. But just... So we did our best to make sure Grace was set up with nice dry uh, areas and footing before winter hit. But unfortunately, she has one tiny spot leading into the barn stall we made for her. And it's just a muck mire. Obviously, you can see it's ankle deep mud. She walks through it and just stays caked up. And unfortunately, we don't yet have running water out here at the barn or the stalls. So the best I can do to get her boots on is just comb that mud out. And then uh, when the weather's warm enough, obviously, we'll give her a bath and get her out of that area. But. For now, you know, you just kind of make do as best you can. All right, we're gonna take her out, get her ready to hitch up. Four cart is heavy. It's all get out. Too heavy for me because it's a it's a work cart, solid steel, and so uh, it always takes a second person to help me get it on. Pull it up a little more. There you go. Okay, Grace is now hitched up, ready to work. So let's go see if the guys are ready for us yet. Pretty much since we moved here and Grace returned last spring, um, she's had it fairly easy. You know, we've, we've done a good bit of riding her and pleasure driving, so she understands the basics of harness. But, you know, if you go back and, and review Grace's history, get up. Um, she has never been extremely good at working alone. She just doesn't have a lot of experience with that. She was almost always teamed up with our more experienced team horses, and uh, this is gonna be quite a challenge for her today. So I'm, I'm really pretty excited. I've been wanting to get her going here. Um, she's done basic work in the past, but this logging, this will be her first time logging solo. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I'm using the four cart. It just kind of ups the level of safety um, by helping keep everything lined up properly and uh, just reduces some of the risk. And other than that, she's also not great at her, her side turns, G and haw. So I'm hoping she'll get some good practice with that and backing up. You know, these are all things that she didn't get a lot of practice with back when she was going through her healing and rescue phase. So now that she's healed up and ready to work, um, we just kind of got to bring all that together and start letting her gain experience. And there's only one way to do that, and that's to get out in the field and just do it. Follow the leader to help her out. Okay, Ruth, she's going to want to go left, so if necessary, just kind of guide her to the right. Okay? All right, get up. Small one. Put it 
right in the center of that other one. Over. When we first started out, you could tell in the video, you know, she was really kind of fighting a bit. She was a little stiff, but Ruth is being a big help. Grace is learning to tune in to Ruth for a little extra guidance when she gets confused. You know, this is a this is a tough task and it takes a lot of thought process for the horse. They've got a lot of instructions to follow. There's a lot going on around us. So Ruth is just kind of being a help in calming her and giving her that guidance, almost like a seasoned horse would do. So Ruth is our horse for the day. But, uh, but Grace is figuring it out and I suspect by the end of the day, she'll kind of have a pretty good idea what's going on here. So when I'm down in the woods, I'm always standing at the head of the log. Danielle, as she's coming down, she sees me standing at the head of the log. She knows where she needs to put the back of the forecart. And so she looks at the path through the woods to determine how to maneuver to get there. So I don't really have to direct at all. I just stand on the log and she knows what to do. Okay, Ruth, this time I've got to take her very close to that tree, okay? Alright, the guys have to do a little bit of repositioning and such, so I'm actually just going to let Grace walk down the driveway. We're just going to go for a little walk and let her have some time to just kind of decompress uh, because this is stressful. Okay, so we've got the chainsaw going over there. She doesn't seem to be reacting to that much, but we do cut it off when she gets closer. Eventually, she'll get used to that. Now, this is the biggest log she's done today. If it's too big, we don't want her to fail. So if it's too big, I'm going to cut it down until she can effectively pull it. So we'll see what she does with it. Ready? We'll go straight first. Well, that was exciting. She uh, was a little confused when we first started out under that kind of a load. She's never pulled that much weight by herself. Um, but once she got going and she kind of got around that tree we had in the way, um, she did it and she pulled it all the way here. So I am thrilled. She's She's got a lot of potential. I'm so excited. I mean, she's just come so far, but we've still got a few more logs to do. So back to work. Good girl. We're gonna try something different here. A little tighter. Yep. Easy does. Get up. Yep. Oop. Okay. All right. Paul. Good girl. Good. Little branch. Step over there. All right. Get up. Good girl. Okay, right here. Yeah, right there. Good. Good. Left. Left. Paul. Ooh. All right, come back, come back, come back. Grace has figured out what we're doing, 
But now she's anticipating a big pull. And what that means is she stops waiting patiently and she wants to lunge into that collar. That's never a habit I want to allow. So since they're still working up at the pile, I'm actually just going to have her hooked up to this next log, which is going to be a big pull. And if she lunges into the collar right now without permission, then it's going to discourage that. And I'm just going to ask her to stand here and rest for a while while they're working. So we're going to let her rest, wait for my cue. And that's kind of what we're going to work on for the next log or two. a break. She's worked hard. She's pulled about a half dozen logs and some of them were pretty good pulls. She has improved tremendously just with those few. So we're going to let her get a good break. South Michaela a little bit and then uh, after a nice break we're going to do a couple more before we stop. So we give Grace a break in about a half hour, give her some water and a little nibble, and uh, we're going to put her back in, get four more logs on the driveway, and then we'll break for lunch. So we'll see what she does here. Well, we're trying it this time without her having someone up there guiding her, and that's the first time she did it. So that shows me she's getting the hang of it. She's not quite as anxious and anticipating and lunging, so uh, she's starting to relax and just figure out the routine, which is ideal. Not too tired because she's trying to trot back here to the growl. Huh. And so I tell you what, I am just thrilled beyond words. Uh, Grace did an amazing job today. And you know, it's always interesting um, because jobs like this will kind of show the horse's weak points. Obviously, Jigen Hall is a weak point for her, patience is a weak point. And those are things that she needs a lot of work on, and I just haven't had the time with us building the house. Um, 
but doing a job like logging is one of the hardest jobs a horse can do because you have to have so much precision, so much communication. And there's kind of a joke that if you want to teach your horse to stand still, hook him to a plow. That's very true. Plowing is a hard job on a horse, but you don't have nearly the precision that's required when you're going into the timber like that, having to work your way around stumps. That horse has got to listen to you. So today, obviously, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't fluid. Uh, we weren't quite working as one yet, but it, it was a huge improvement from start to finish. Um, she pulled a total of about 10 logs. We worked her up in weight and then we worked her back down so that we would end on a good note. But um, once again, she has made me very happy. She's a good girl. Well, all in all, we had a great day, got a lot of work done. We're working on getting that pasture cleaned up and slowly but surely we're making progress. If you enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to check out our previous videos from our last farm uh, under our horse playlist. We've got a lot of horse powered work that we used to do. And as this year goes on, we're going to be doing a lot more. We've got several projects planned just for the spring. So as Grace gets better, she'll be used a lot more. And then uh, we'll get back into our tip horses as well. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that fun stuff. And leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts.